Hey guys, EJ from Dakota Bandit here. I have a uh, special order and I thought I would uh, make a video about it because I think this one's going to be kind of fun. So a customer requested a 1911 compact um, done in Harley Quinn and basically just said make it awesome. So I can do that. So the gun I picked out is this. American Tactical Titan Compact 1911 and uh, we're gonna Cerakote it I'm gonna make custom grips for it and uh, I'll kind of walk you through how uh, I end up kind of making the custom grips for it and all that stuff um, I did go ahead and I bought these little lapel pins and uh, they're pewter and at the customer's request I went ahead and uh, painted them a little bit and what I'll do is I will create an inlay in the grips for those to sit and he wants this to be kind of like a sweetheart gun so first thing we gotta do is take apart the gun so let's go ahead and do that Now, let's go sandblast all these. All right, so I just wanted to talk about this for a second. That's just a normal set of grips that is getting made right now on the Shape Oco. Um, just cutting it out of aluminum stock. Uh, then you create the inlay. And of course, I'm testing the inlay on some scrap wood because I don't want to mess up and have to go through the work of creating uh, the grips all over again so we'll test it on some scrap wood I make sure it works and then I go ahead and put the real grips on there and cut the inlay and that's all there's to it it's actually not very hard to make inlays okay and we're back these are the finished grips so um well, I say finished. I still have a little bit of work to do with them. I'm going to sandblast them whenever I sandblast the parts for the 1911. And um, I still got to do a little bit of work on the back of them. But this is the gist of it. And the, uh, the inlays fit in there just like I wanted them to. So we can go ahead and get this all sandblasted. And then we can start painting. So, now you get to watch a fast motion of sandblasting, which is really boring. So, enjoy! Sandblasting is done. So now I just need to uh, blow all the sand out, make sure there's no sand stuck in it, and then get it soaked for acid in acetone. And I'm actually going to let it soak in acetone overnight. Just to make sure there is no oil or anything that's going to cause any problems. Now soak it in acetone and tomorrow we'll start painting. So see you tomorrow. The next day. All right, 
let's do some painting. And any small munchkins you might see are not children. They're over 18. I don't understand YouTube's rules, so any munchkins you see are actually dwarves. They're not children. They're just little people. And they prefer to be called dwarves or munchkins. And they like to be tossed. Do I look like I'm 18, Dad? You are totally 18. Shut up. Okay. Wait, you sure this is a YouTube rule? I don't know. I don't understand the new rules. They're like something about like, oh, do you have children in your video? Like, no. Never. I don't have children. I've got little people. So because we've got all of our coats on these, um, they still have to go in the oven for final bake, but I don't have to be as concerned about have wearing gloves and crap, but I'm still going to put gloves on at least one hand because otherwise you get covered in the paint and it's a pain in the butt. Oh crap, I'm going to be using acetone. I'm not going to worry about it at all because acetone eats the gloves. Okay, let's get some acetone. Get a couple paper towels. Okay, so what I'm gonna try to do is, um, if I use the acetone and just kind of lightly, see? My goal is I want it to be mostly red. with blackness on it and this method seems to work good for me I'm sure there's somebody who does Seracone who's watching and they're like you're doing it wrong ah! well you know what this seems to work for me so suck it I guess I don't know
there. So that's what I was going for. I wanted a red gun that was just dirty and used. And I hope that's what the client wants too, because that's what he got. I mean, that's kind of what I do. So if he's looked at any of my other work and been like, oh, I want something that doesn't have distressing on it. Well, then why did you hire me? Because this is kind of what I do. So like, even this little part here. I want to bring out those lines and then muddy it just a little bit. There, see? Then there's no reason to have this all thick with Cerakote, so we'll just wipe a lot of that off. There. Anywhere you've touched it, make sure you're not leaving fingerprints. There, that piece, that piece, that piece, and that piece. We're good. I just gotta wash my hands really good. Um, this can all go back in the oven for a three hour bake. Three hours later. Okay, we're done with the frame. All of these uh, little parts here, um, and the grips. The only part that's not done is the uh, slide. So the slide, while it's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and get these other parts cleaned up. Alexa, stop. I use, I use her for doing the timers. Yeah, that looks nice. like okay so oh, one more there's no easy way to get these off other than just elbow grease that i have found i'm sure somebody's gonna say like oh you gotta use this or this but honestly this is the easiest way i have found to get this stencils off okay now we've got like sticker residue and i use isopropyl alcohol that seems to work the best is just some isopropyl um, and anytime you're doing painting stuff, I'll give you a tip. Don't use 70% or 75% or whatever it is, isopropyl alcohol. Always use the, um, above 90%. The 70% stuff has got, uh, I believe it's like castor oil in it. And oil, when you're trying to put a ceramic coating on something, is very, very bad. There. So there's the frame. It looks really slick. The next day. It's all painted now. And uh, now I just got to basically clean it all up and put it all together. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And you can watch it. It'll only take like three seconds on your end. It'll take a few minutes longer on my end. But it's not that long of a process. So here we go. All right, there it is all put together. So now, um, and I oiled it all up, so it's ready to function. Um, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. Um, I wanted this slide to be more black than it is. It's, it still looks red, but what are you gonna do? Um, so now it is time to take some pictures and send it off to the customer. So until next time, like and subscribe or don't. I don't give a crap. Follow me on Instagram if you want. EJ underscore Dakota Bandit.
and I will see you next time. Bye. Keep your stick on the ice.